Network medicine is a new field that hopes to understand more deeply the differences in the way diseases are expressed in individual patients. And it takes into consideration uh, the different complex interactions among all of the molecules that create the disease phenotype or how the disease manifests itself. It identifies those features molecularly and clinically that distinguish how a disease is manifest in a given patient. Take for example heart failure. Clinicians know that heart failure can be manifest in many different ways, hundreds of ways, if you look at a population of patients. But we really don't know what the molecular distinctions are that identify or predict how the disease will evolve in one person or respond to treatment in that same person. Molecular medicine helps to put some rational understanding or underpinning to these differences and distinctions. I think the role of the editor of high quality journals or textbooks is one of authoritative guide, which is to say that uh, given that the medical field, as other scientific fields, is being bombarded with huge amounts of information, the quality of which is not always clear, the reader or learner must depend upon the editor to help lead the way in guiding him or her through the pathway of understanding. And that's true for network medicine as well. That it should uh, first be defined as a unique field with unique strategies for identifying and understanding disease and its treatment. And second, be an applied field that can be used to uh, help deepen our knowledge of specific disease fields. So it can, much like statistics or genetics, uh, have its own discipline that, fun that focuses on methodologies and analyses, but as well applied approaches that focus on specific diseases or specific organ systems as we conventionally understand them.